Hello there and welcome to a video. In this video, we'll be creating a very simple contact form using the JD Simple Contact Form module and just displaying or demonstrating the basic features. My name is Chayden and I'm with JoomDev. So the module is again very simple. It offers you to create unlimited fields and you know just the basics. Let's let's put a title and a description in, you know, just the basics. So we'll put the title my contact form. This is my contact form. Enable Ajax no for now. All right. Thank you for your submission. All right, perfect. And then in the form layout, we'll go ahead and create a just single field. We'll name this first name and uh, first name. Now the name is supposed to be without any spaces or special characters. The minute you type a space, you'll see it turns red. So you gotta have it, you know, without spaces or special characters. You can have numbers in there. You can have, uh, you know, any alphabets in there, but no special characters or or, or spaces. Uh, okay, so we'll put uh, the label in name, first name, yes, required, yes, and you know, just simple stuff. And then we'll put the email no reply at dev. We'll just make it whatever. Your submission on your contact form. And then I want to send it to this is just a disposable email address we have. All right. And default template. And we'll save it. So this should give us a simple form with the field first name in there. And a submit button that lets us submit the form, which is perfect. And upon submission, we shall see the message. Thank you for your submission. All right. So first name is Jane. We'll submit this. Takes a minute. And thank you for your submission. If we go back to our email, refresh the email, we see that we have the email, first name, and Jayden. That's it. That's all we did, and that's all we asked for. All right, now let's look at some additional options. Now let's say if we want to manage the width of the fields. So this is all based on bootstrap, you know, which is 12 uh, grid columns. So let's say we can, let's say we want to have first name and last name in one row. We can make all of both of these four, four or six, six. Uh, let's make it six. We'll add another one, last name, right? Last name. This is also required and we'll make it six as well. So you'll see these go side by side now. All right, perfect, still too wide, right? So let's make these three, three. And now we can have four in a row and we'll make it, we'll add two more here, okay? And we'll make this one, let's say phone, phone number. We can limit, uh, you know, we can uh, not limit it to any specific validations right now. We do have these specific fields. For, so the number fields only accept numbers as input. So we can use that for phone number. And last one can be email. For that, we can use email. This accepts a valid email address. Email. Now, we don't have these fields required, which is a good thing. Because we don't want these required. All right, so you'll see the asterisk of the star would not appear next to these fields. And you can see we have four in a row, okay? Uh, well, let's create a few more fields just to give you a demo of what the abilities are here. So let's do a radio, okay? And then we'll say gender, all right? Gender, and then say male, female, other, and then we'll make this one four wide, okay? Okay, perfect. So we have this. And let's do another field, which is, <clears throat> well, we did radio, let's do checkbox. Now, so there's checkboxes and checkbox. The checkbox can be used for, you know, any sort of, uh, you know, consent from the user, like, I agree to the terms of 
use all right and we'll make this 12 you know we we'll just keep this at the very bottom okay and you can see you know so multiple checkboxes can be you know if you want to uh, you know have multiple choices and I'll demo that where to you know and then we'll have checkboxes like where did you live in the past you know so we have New York New Delhi London London spelled correctly and we'll make this four all right and we'll, we'll drag this so you can use these to drag these up and down which is very helpful okay so we had four and four that's why you see you know I'm side by side but I do see they look weird so let's make them 12 12 each so this is 12 and this is 12 as well Okay, so you know, yes, 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 yes. And you know, if you don't put in the field, it's a just the field is required for the required fields. And this can this is applicable across all fields. All right, so we have a few more fields left before we can finish this. So next is a list. Uh, this is a simple list. List demo. Select an option. This is a drop down per se and then we say item one item two item three or item four okay we'll make this 12 as well and then you can see okay perfect so we have four options here and last but not the least we have the text area you know put your notes in or something like that so notes All right, let's make this one required. We'll put this 12. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, we have a very simple form here. We just put in the name, test, last, phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, someone at test.com. And this is mail. Okay, all three. You wanna select item four here, notes, okay. And I do agree to the terms of use. All right. So if we look at our email, we'll see we have another submission and we get all the information here. Again, real simple. And then we get checked for checked. And if the checkbox wasn't checked, we would get unchecked for this one. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's all the fields. Now, two more features of this is first of all, is the ajax submission so we can do the submission without ajax and obviously we can change the label of the button by default it says submit we can change it to say go okay so we'll do that and i'll hide the module title because that does look duplicate here and we'll refresh and you'll see so this says go and this time this is ajax submission so the page will do its thing but without refreshing the page and again you know you can see the validations are in place because we chose a number and an email field this is only supposed to be a number you know and this is only supposed to be an email address and then there's the ajax submission and if we go back to our email we will see oh we had the email we just deleted it so and there's the email the last one we did okay and that's it and the other feature is the ccc and cc and bcc so if you want to cc someone or bc someone you can and if you want to put multiple email addresses here you can just comma separate them and put another one another email at gmail.com or whatever the email address is now the subject field uh, and the email template field accepts the variables uh, dynamic variables how they work and I'll explain that in a minute here so let's say I want to include the first name in the subject of the email I want to say new submission from I can say field name and value 
and that's it so this will make sure that whatever first name i put into this field appears in the subject and we'll demonstrate it here in a minute Uh, so first name is church let's say for example hey okay, you don't have to fill everything else in perfect and if you refresh your email you'll see it says new submission from church because that is the actual value of the field that was added now this is uh, possible in the subject in the thank you message as well so we can say thank you for your submission george or whatever value we need here and then we save all right and then we refresh okay and then we say this time the name is 1010 now oh, its last name is also 10 so all right so this will say thank you for your submission 10 you know and you know you can do all sorts of formatting here you can bold it or whatever these are just variables which are replaced by the actual value at the end of the submission uh, last two things the variables are also possible in the redirect url and the config uh, layout as well so let's say you want to display a thank you message or you don't but you want to redirect them to a url so let's say we want to you know uh, redirect them to a url such as this with this in the you know url so this can be dynamic let's say you have a field where you're asking someone how much they want to pay and then you can just uh use this to pass the payment variable over to paypal or whatever you use as your uh you know payment processor this can be very useful so we'll do that so upon submission, you know, with name in the URL, you'll see it will redirect to our website with the name in the URL. So let's say 10, 10, 10, test, go. As you can see, it is redirecting, it takes a second or two, but you can see, so it redirected with name Tim Tin in there again this is very useful if you know for payment integrations and stuff this can be very very useful okay and last but not the least is a custom layout so the default template you get lists all the fields in simple label and value format okay and we can modify that so the minute you say custom you can put your old field in here so i want to say first name name this will get me the name of the field Okay, and then I want to say first name value. This will get me the value of the field. This is applicable across all fields, and we have to use this as the dynamic uh, identifier in here. We can use this in the subject, in the custom email template, in the thank you message, and in the redirect URL. Okay, so let's do a custom email template this time. So we should only get name in here. We shouldn't get this template this time. Okay, and I do another submission here all right almost there and if I refresh and we can say we got first name well I didn't put it in the right uh, manner but yeah we got first name and then test so this is supposed to be hang on this is supposed to be I think it's supposed to be label uh, turn on the redirect so turning off the redirect you just make it blank and that's it okay Okay, thank you, Tintin. All right, okay, so you can see, yeah, it's supposed to be called label. We'll go ahead and clear up the documentation here, but it's supposed to be called label and then value instead of name and value. And this can be used for all fields, uh, you know, so you can use last name, phone, just go and then do phone, you know, and phone number, 
Yes. Right. Ten, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And then notes are test. All right, if I do a refresh, you can say first name Tintin and phone number is this. And again, you can bold this, you can italics this, all sorts of formatting you want to do with this or just this or anything will all work. All right, and that's it. Thank you for watching the video. This got a little longer than I expected. And I hope you make great farms with this module. Thank you.